Good morning, it's Sheila from She's a Sassy Lady. Now I am trying to do um, a video on this and I'm trying to get you to see my um, my iPad and uh, you're kind of coming down and looking down at it. Um, but this is about as close as I can get it. And let me see if I can zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. There, you can see a little better now. Uh, what I have on my iPad, and I have so many people question me and send me emails all the time, is I have got my cartridges on my um, on my iPad. Now I have everything on iBooks. Let me show you iBooks. It's a free application, and what is so nice is you can set up all different things. I've got my Sassy Lady books on here, which is all my Sassy Lady files, and, and I haven't put too many of them on yet. I've got uh, my calendars from work. I've got my Cricut cartridges. I've got regular PDFs, and you can even put um, books on there. Depends on what you want to have on, you can put on. Now, to put a Cricut cartridge on there, unfortunately you now have to put them on one at a time and but I want to show you how to do this I've already logged into Cricut.com that's all you have to do is log into Cricut.com go to shop and when you get to shop over on the left hand side it's got uh, Cricut image library and let me enlarge that so you can see it says Cricut image library. Touch that or click if you're on, uh, well on your iPad you just want to touch it. Now from there you can decide how you want to pull them. Each one of them is in there, all the cartridges. I find Cricut every day is really simple to use and uh, because I don't have all the digital stuff I, I don't have that on there so I, to me it's like why waste my time? You can set the order in which you want to look at it. If you want to look at the most recent that come out, once you have it on, I would suggest that. Um, it, originally you might want to do name, but release date, let's look at that so you get the, the most recent cartridges. And now I've already got some of these on. I don't have Cricut Everyday Cartridge because I don't have that. I do have when I was a kid and Cricut Everyday Cartridge already put on. Uh, because I wasn't prepared to do this but let's try it again and just so that you can see how easy it is to do and we'll do one that I don't have that I'm thinking about getting and that's this Cricut Outdoor Man cartridge. Click on the cartridge that you want a copy of. Here on that it comes up the screen about the cartridge. You have a close-up of that and then in red right here it says and let me show you I enlarged it click here to read product details. Touch that. Now from there if you'll notice at the very bottom in it's got digital handbook and it's underlined because it's a link. Touch it. All of a sudden it opens that link up. When it opens it up there's going to be a little thing that will come on my screen and you're actually seeing how long it really really takes to download one of these cartridges. I sat and downloaded for my daughter on vacation every one of the cartridges because she got a new iPad and she kept saying I don't know how you're doing that mom. Well I didn't have anything to do so I was being lazy and while we were sitting around talking I would sit and put the cartridges on because you know me I like to do something and talk at the same time. At any rate it's still putting on it's it's almost done as you can see by this bar up here it's almost there and now open in iBooks you just touch it and it comes up I can open it in those different things I'm going to open it in iBooks and then it automatically goes over to iBook. However, it's not going to put it in my Cricut collection. It put it in the library. At that point, I touch the library and I have all these different things that need to be filed. Okay? And all I have to do is hit Edit up in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to click on the Outdoor Man Spanish. I put, oh, I ran the Spanish one. That's okay. And I'm going to hit move and I'm going to put it in Cricut cartridges and then it'll automatically put it in alphabetical order. How nice is that? So easy. 
and you look and we're going to look for Outdoor Man. Outdoor Man, right there. It's there. It'll always be on my iPad now. How easy was that? And as you can see, I have every cartridge I own. I don't own that one, um, the Outdoor Man. I don't own it, but I've been thinking about getting it. So what the good news is, is I can look at it and go, start looking through it and see, well, is it really something that I want? And I want to get into the book a little bit because, you know, the first part of the book is always instructions. And here's a kind of synopsis of the page here. Do I want some of these? I would probably use the fire. Am I going to use this cartridge? Nah. Hubby and I are almost retired. We're not going camping at our age. And I'm trying to see if there's something on there I just got to gotta have. I love this. Oh, look at that coyote. Uh, and look at the moose. I've been to Maine and they have moose there. Yeah, I might get this cartridge. I think I'm going to keep it on there. Because I'll probably buy this cartridge when it gets to an affordable price. And you know what's funny? Is I will buy it just for those two pieces of artwork because I love those. And the trees are nice. There's three pieces I would use. Mm -mm -mm. I like how the fire is. Well, I'm running. Thanks much. Bye now. Sorry about that. That was my phone daughter calling. At any rate, see how easy that is. And oops, I always do the wrong button here. What I like is that every one of my, and as you can see, let me set it up like this, every one of my cartridges are on my iPad. How nice is that? So if I want to start designing something, matter of fact, this morning I did a card and I did, um, I used my uh, Close to My Heart Artsy and I couldn't remember what, you know, where, a particular card was and all I had to do was open it up and then go through and it wasn't on the artsy yes it was I I did it the one on the artsy but this has got let me get this back library I did the artsy instruction booklet I want the artsy handbook and there's uh, my card right here that I did this morning and it's so nice and it's so pretty and that envelope is just adorable but I wanted to find out where it was on the cartridge and look at this right here and what I like is that it'll even zoom in so you can see it just by with that double tap and it's going to go down to the normal size I mean this is so wonderful and the good news is those of you that have a Kindle Fire you can do the same thing you can do the same exact thing. Now, remember, I want to go back to the Safari here. Safari is in like your internet thing. For those of the, you that have um, um, have the, um, what do I want to say? Um, have the iPad. You knew what I was talking about, but those of you that don't wouldn't. But if you have the Kindle Fire, I also have the Kindle Fire. And all you have to do, and it's going once again on there. The Cricut Outdoor is downloading once again. And it, remember when it said open in iBooks, I said you open in iBooks. A little thing comes over here and it shows the different places that I can actually open and store that. I keep all my, my Cricut books in my iPad on iBooks. But... I also have a Kindle Fire and sometimes when I am doing something I have just my Kindle Fire nearby well I have my cartridges on my Kindle Fire and open in open in Kindle and it'll open it in the Kindle and it'll put it there also so now next time when I open my Kindle Fire up guess what it's going to be there too so how easy was that don't you love it? That's just for those of you that have it. And um, go home. Or oh, wait a minute. Go up to the magazine thing. There we go. And I have to find it. 
It's been so long since I, okay, books. I think I've got it in docs. Oh, I don't have it in the I in my cloud, so you can't see it because I haven't got it in my cloud. If I put on the and I don't have my device on, it's on the actual device. And it'll go in there right away when I get there. So that one, I'm going to say I'll be cautious of that one. But if you have a Kindle Fire, you would put it on the same way. Okay? So back to my iBooks. And there we go. That simple. Hope you enjoyed today's post and it helped you out with your iPad or your Kindle Fire. It's that simple. You put it on the same way either way. Okay? Thank you. Oh, with the Kindle Fire, you can do all of them at one time, though. And you can do that by storing them on your computer, but you still have to put each one of the carts on one at a time. Okay? Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Bye now.